Welcome everybody to our October 2024 Animal Reiki Talk. I am your host, Kathleen Prasad. I'm founder of Animal Reiki Source and the Let Animals Lead Method of Animal Reiki and co-founder of Shelter Animal Reiki Association. And tonight, every, every month I choose a different topic to talk about. And tonight I'm gonna talk about creating affirmations for your animal Reiki practice. But I wrote a blog on this as well. So if you go to my website, animalreikisource.com, you'll click on the blog and you will see this new blog. And so I wanna talk a little bit about this blog um, also, in addition to talking about um, how to create, I will give you tools and tips for creating, but there's so much in this blog that I think will be um, helpful as a background before you actually just start writing your affirmations. So let's let's dig into this topic and then I'll open it up for Q&A and then we'll finish with our animal healing circle as we always do. So thank you all for being here with me tonight. So let's talk for a minute first about how animal Reiki affirmations can help us. So there's two different ways that we, if we bring affirmations in to our animal Reiki practice, there's two ways it helps us. First of all, it can help us. And we are of course the facilitator of the animal Reiki session. And second of all, it can help us hold space for our animals. So it can actually support that space that we're creating for our animals. So let's talk about those two things. And I have a bunch of affirm of my favorite affirmations that I'm going to share with you as we talk and go along. And so I'm going to, at each time that I share one of these, I'm going to sort of pause and let us just let it sink in. Let us just really be in that space of that affirmation. So hopefully by the time of the end of our call tonight, you feel a beautiful positive energy shift because of all the affirmations I'm going to share with you tonight. Okay, so let's first talk about animal Reiki affirmations for our own healing. And here are some of my favorite ways that affirmations help us heal ourselves. And the first is affirmations bring positive mindset and self-empowerment. And so I have an affirmation for all of us right now. So let's bring this in to ourselves. I am strong. I am resilient. I am loved. Bring this into your mind and your energy. I am strong. I am resilient. I am loved. This is a beautiful affirmation when times are tough and we may feel negative thoughts creeping in or we may feel helpless with what's going on um, with our animals or in our lives. This is a reminder. I am strong. I'm resilient. I am loved. Another way that our animal Reiki affirmations can help us and our energy is it can enhance the energy flow that we are creating within ourselves and all around us. When I'm doing a self-healing session, or even if I'm offering an animal Reiki session, this is my favorite affirmation. It's easy to remember. It's short. It's sweet. All of you on the call who are my students, you're going to recognize this one. Okay, we're ready. We're going to let this one flow through us tonight. All is well. All is well. All is well. Just feel how that opens up your energy. Okay. Any of you ever feel stress and anxiety in your life? <laughs> yeah, all of us do, right? Here's a special one for all of you in those moments. I can handle whatever arises. Feel that. Know that. I can handle whatever arise. We remind ourselves, I can do this. Sometimes life gets tough, but I can, I can do it. And finally, affirmations help us have positive thinking and emotional strength. Okay. Bringing in affirmations in the most difficult times helps us have that hope brings in that balance, helps us get through. Just when we're about to give up, an affirmation can be the thing that we need. 
Here's one. This one is challenging, but I want you to say it and mean it and just be in that space with me tonight, okay? I expect and embrace miracles. I expect and embrace miracles. Are you ready for it? Yes, we're ready for it. <laughs> miracles, come find us. We're ready. Feel our energy. We're open to it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Secondly, so that those are some affirmations for us in those difficult moments. Now I want to talk about affirmations for animals when we are sharing animal Reiki, okay? Animals may not necessarily understand the words of our affirmations, but they understand the way our energy shifts when we really set the tone with an affirmation in a space. So here are ways that our affirmations support the animals we're helping. Number one, calming energy transfer. I feel calm, it transfers to the animal. We know the opposite is true, right? When we're stressed, our animals get stressed. <laughs> well, guess what? When we're calm, our animals get calm. So here's one to use when you're with an animal who may feel anxious to help them feel more secure and relaxed. Actually, here's two. You are safe, loved, and protected. You are safe, loved, and protected. And every time as you say these to your animals, feel it in your being. It's an energetic message, not just a verbal message. And second, peace embraces us. Peace embraces us. We are setting a beautiful tone for an animal who may feel anxious. Secondly, affirmations can help enhance bonding with humans. It can create a strong sense of emotional security and help the animal feel more connected and loved. Here are two of my favorite for this. I am grateful to be sharing this moment with you. I'm grateful to be sharing this moment with you. You know, put your hand over your heart if that helps. That always helps me. That always helps me really touch in with that beautiful heart space and feel it from my heart when I say it. And here's the second one. I am always here for you. I'm always here for you. Increase that trust with your animal through these. Third, we like to think about reducing stress when we're with animals. Then animals feel more calm and less stressed in our presence, right? So we want to create affirmations that reduce our own stress and create that positive emotional feeling, right? Here's a couple that I've created that I love using. You make my heart smile. You make my heart smile. I bet that one feels easy, doesn't it? You can say that with all of your love and emotions to your animal, can't you? And the second one may be more aspirational, but I want you to really touch in with your heart and feel that as much as possible. My heart is a sanctuary of peace, love, and compassion. My heart is a sanctuary of peace, love, and compassion. I like to imagine my heart just expanding out as this beautiful sanctuary and just inviting the animals into that space.
Okay, what if we're working with an animal that has behavior issues? Let's find the right affirmations to help us stay patient and focused during those difficult moments and also seeing deeper than the problem and what's wrong, okay? Never works to focus on what's wrong. So here are a couple affirmations for that. You are healthy, whole, and perfect. You are healthy, whole, and perfect and peace embraces this moment. Peace embraces this moment. That one's a good one to use in the middle of a chaotic moment. Yes, yes it is. (laughs) And finally, these affirmations can support your animal to heal and to feel that sense of well-being through every cell of their being. We are reinforcing positive thoughts. We're seeing your animal as whole and perfect. Um, We are, now when we do this, we wanna acknowledge that our animal might feel pain or discomfort. They're going through something. We see you, we know, we know what you're going through. I see you totally, but let's not get stuck there. Let's go deeper. Let's go deeper and look at their spirit, okay? So here is, looking deeply into your animal spirit. You are healthy, strong, and thriving. You are healthy, strong, and thriving. And you know what? Their spirit is. So just look deeper and you will see it. And I want you to feel that from your heart each time. And finally, I hold a space of love and compassion for you. I invite you to share this space with me. I hold a space of love and compassion for you. I invite you to share this space with me. This really encourages your animal's freedom, their agency. This is up to them. This is an option. This is an invitation, but it's completely up to your animal. All right. So if we look at our animal Reiki practice, there are three animal Reiki techniques that already use affirmations. Maybe you didn't even notice. That's why affirmations in our animal Reiki practice, when we bring in more, it's such a perfect seamless thing because they're already there. First of all, the Reiki precepts. Two of the Reiki precepts are already affirmations. Be grateful be kind to others. We can really see that. And we can kind of tweak, do not anger, do not worry, into affirmations, can't we? So we can already work with affirmations so easily with the Reiki precepts. Also, the Reiki mantras. For example, the second Reiki mantra means harmony. That's a wonderful affirmation. Harmony, right? We're already using that. And finally, the Joshin Kokyoho breath, which we're going to do at the end today, already imagines that light comes in. And as we expand the light, we expand this feeling that all is well in every cell of our being. So I already have that positivity built in to the work that we do with animal Reiki. Another thing that you can do is you can add in affirmations to help keep your mind positive when you're doing other practices. For example, hands-on healing practice for yourself. Your mind is wandering. Maybe you feel a little bit worried about something, feeling those doubts creep in. Add in the affirmations. I like to sometimes do all the affirmations in each position. I'll just repeat, I'm sorry, precepts. I'll create the pre uh, say the precepts and I'll switch them around to be affirmations. So I might say for today only I am filled with peace, I am filled with confidence, I am a grateful, I am honest and I am compassionate. And I move to the next position for today only. I am filled with peace. I'm filled with confidence. I am grateful, 
I'm filled with honesty, I'm filled with compassion, and so on. So you can kind of bring those in as you do hands-on healing session, or you can just choose one like all is well, which we did earlier. And you can just repeat that like a mantra as you do each hand position. So these are wonderful ways. And we know that our animals benefit when our energy shifts. So although we call this a hands-on self-treatment, it's really not just for us. The animals really benefit from it as well. So keep that in mind too. All right. So I want you guys to take a moment and think about how to create your own affirmations. So I'm going to give you some tips. <clears throat> Number one, keep them positive and present tense. Okay. So that means instead of saying, I will stop being stressed. <laughs> Instead, I want you to say, I am calm and at peace. Do you see the difference there? Mm -hmm. Not I want to be calm and at peace, but I am. So present tense as if it's already happened. And then focus on what you want to feel. So in that emotion that you want to cultivate, right? That helps you really connect with that positivity in yourself. So you could say something like, I feel confident and empowered in this situation, or I'm surrounded by love and abundance. That's what you want to feel. So that's what your affirmation is. And it's as if it has already happened. Keep them short and simple as well so that you can remember them. So pick something that you can remember. That's why I like all as well, because it's so short. It's so simple. You could also say, I am loved or I attract positivity in my life, right? Consistency is key. So once you pick your affirmation, you can use one of the ones I've given you tonight. You can, you can create your own, but repeat it daily. Say it with emotion. Say it with belief. The more emotion you put into it, the stronger its impact. If you can visualize the outcome while you say it, that helps as well. So when you say, you know, <clears throat> I am filled with peace and calm, if you can really imagine what that looks like for yourself, you can see yourself in that space and how beautiful that looks and feel it with your whole heart. And then say it again and again and again, especially when you start sliding into that negativity or you're feeling upset or worried or powerless, then you say, I am calm and at peace. I'm calm and at peace. I'm calm and at peace. I really believe that we can change the world through animal Reiki, one heart at a time. And I really believe that affirmations can enhance our practice in incredible, beautiful ways. Just doing our animal Reiki practice, many of them already incorporate affirmations. So if we can consciously bring them in and even create some of our own affirmations, then it's more personal to us and it feels more real to us, then that can really shift our state of mind and can really make big impacts for us and also for the animals. Because remember, the animals are reacting to the feel of our energy, the vibration of our energy. And affirmations are all about creating positivity and balance. Those are things that the animals are really drawn to. And put together with your animal Reiki practices just enhances the strength in beautiful ways. So I hope you enjoy creating your own affirmations. I hope that you found some of these tips helpful. And I'm going to open it up to Q&A. So if any of you who are here live would like to put forth an animal Reiki affirmation that you have created, I'd love to hear it. We can share <clears throat> if you'd like, or if you have any other questions or sharing about anything in the world of animal Reiki, I invite you now to share. Anybody? I find myself, uh, talking about short and sweet, uh, going to all as well for myself and 
with animals that I sit with at the shelter um, burst off and most usually and it's it's great in any occasion I found <laughs> and so easy to remember. <laughs> That's my favorite one too. Totally. And what also I like is using one word affirmations too. Like sometimes we create them as a statement. Um, but also I just think bringing in like the word love, hmm. you know, or peace and just sitting with what that means, letting that kind of come from your heart and sort of go out. That's another way to like simplify it. And then it's not so much a statement as an embodiment of equality, right? Mm -hmm. Like this is like peace, like, you know, what is that? Okay, peace, mm -hmm. you know? So that's another way to make it easier to remember. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we make it too complicated, then we'll be like sitting in the shelter and we'll be like, wait, I had that great affirmation that I wrote down in my journal. What is it? <laughs> right? So simple is best. Simple is best, you know? And the other thing is we can envision how that looks, right? So like, if let's say we say all is well. And then imagine what in the, if I'm sitting in the shelter with the cats, for example, what does all as well look like? What does it feel like really in your mind? Your mind is so good at creating things, usually negative things. So why not <laughs> take this moment to create something positive and good? How does that look all as well? How wonderful that is. Just feel it through every cell. Let yourself see it and know it. That translates as an energetic vibration to the animals. Anyone else want to share? If I can, Catherine, just yes, for a thank second. you, Kathy. Yes, um, I always found affirmations difficult <laughs> to write. Um, and I read a little piece that said, Think of it in three parts think of it as um, personal in the present tense and something positive. Yes, so, I like that. You know, like I, I, you, um, my would be personal. And, you know, I am or I feel or you are mm -hmm. would be the present and then positive, grateful, beautiful, mm -hmm. loved. Mm -hmm. So that helps me keep it short and kind of helps me put the words together. That's beautiful. I love that. Great tips. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You know, I have found affirmations to be so helpful and I sort of fell into them accidentally by using the Reiki precepts like be grateful or be compassionate. And in those moments where it's difficult to do so and then reciting the precepts in those moments and then going, hey, this is kind of like affirmations and <laughs> wait a second, I could be using this more often. <clears throat> and I've found that it is such a, a wonderful way because so much about our animal Reiki practice is about self-management of our state of mind and our emotions. And it's so easy when you're working with animals who've been through a lot of trauma or abuse to get drawn into, you know, our, our sadness at what they're facing, our anger at what caused them to get to this place, um, our worry, are they going to get better, all of these things. And what it really feels like to the animals when we do that, when we let our mind and emotions go in that direction, it feels very unstable, like chaotic, a maelstrom of all these emotions. And it can really prevent animals from wanting to connect with us. So by focusing in on the affirmations and the meditation that we're doing, we're really acknowledging the way I show up for animals really matters. And I want to make sure I'm showing up as positive as I can with my emotions as 
calm and just, you know, uh, well-being emanating from me as much as possible. And of course we're humans, so it's not always going to be that way, but if the more tools we have and the more aware we are of that, the better. And so if we kind of go into sessions, okay, I know I'm going to do this meditation and then I've got this affirmation also. We may not need to use the affirmation, but we have it if we notice we need it. It's like an extra tool to add in and to support. Yeah. <clears throat> I love affirmations so much. I've been using them for so many years. I decided with the theme this month of affirmations to create an Animal Reiki Affirmations Masterclass. It's coming up in two weeks on Monday, October 14th. The sign up is on my website at animalreikisource.com. If any of you would like to come, I'm going to share all kinds of things like what is an affirmation, what makes something an affirmation, what is the history of affirmations, and then how can we use this in our practice. And I've even created a brand new affirmation meditation that I'm going to share that you won't be able to find anywhere else except in this masterclass. I'm going to give you so many affirmations and a huge handout of all the affirmations that I go through for you to use as well. So if you love affirmations, if you want to know more, if you want to bring this into your animal Reiki practice, be sure to come to my animal Reiki affirmations masterclass, which is coming up in two weeks. All right. So any other questions or sharing for tonight before we go into our animal he healing circle, as we always do each month? Just notice there's a chat. Oh, Janet says, I always tell my animals, you are perfect and send them love. I love that. Thank you, Janet. That's beautiful. All right. So let's hold space together in a beautiful, positive way and invite the animals in for healing. And so what I'm gonna teach you guys tonight, normally I do like a shortened version of the Reiki Hara breathing, but tonight I'm gonna teach you the full version because it includes the affirmation all as well. And so um, I think it just lines up so beautifully with my talk tonight. So I like to call this the Reiki space meditation. So let's go into Gasho. And let's take a moment to set our intention. Let's dedicate all the energy of this practice to our animals. And if they're with us, great. And if not, just bring them to your mind and heart. We invite them to share the space with us. And then rest your hands on your lap. And we're going to visualize our breath as a pure and clear light. And as we breathe in, imagine the breath comes in through the nose, in through the crown, and fills your body with light, moving all the way down to the hara, your lower belly. And then just before you exhale, so I'm going to talk you through this first, okay? And then we can <clears throat> incorporate it into our natural breath. So you inhale, fill your body with light, connect with the hara, the lower belly. Just before you exhale, I want you to imagine this light that you've just inhaled can brighten in every cell of your being. And every space that might feel uncomfortable or a little bit stressed, you might have a little bit of pain. Just imagine as that light brightens, all of that discomfort just dissolves into the light. And it leaves you with this feeling that all is well. And then as you exhale, imagine this light expands out of every pore in your skin and into your aura and into the universe. And it is, this is that all is well space, okay? We expand it. So again, you breathe in the light, fill your body, connect to the hara, and brighten that light in every cell, all is well. 
and then breathe out, expanding that all is well, light in every direction. So again, breathing in the light, filling your body, connecting with the Hara, brightening that light in every cell, all is well. Breathing out, expanding. And take a moment and just continue that breath a few times at your own pace. And then relax your breath and see yourself sitting in this beautiful space of light. And this light is vibrating with all is well, every cell of your being and all around you. And this light is a beautiful invitation to your animals. So we invite our animals to share the space with us if they wish. And then bring in our hands back into Gasho. And take a moment to thank your animals. And however they chose to connect in this space was just perfect in this moment. And setting your intention to finish, take a nice deep breath, slowly come back and open your eyes. So remember that practice, how easy it is to shift our energy, to remind ourselves that all is well. And by creating the space first within ourselves and then presenting it as an invitation to our animals, we're encouraging their agency and their freedom if they even want to connect or if they don't or how they want to connect. It's really important to leave all of that up to them so that we're not pushing our agenda on them, right? It's always a gentle invitation for them. That's how we honor them. So thank you all so much for being a part of tonight's podcast. I hope it's been helpful. Let me know if you create any awesome new affirmations. Um, and also if you use any of the ones that we have talked about tonight, I'd love to hear how it goes, how the animals respond. So have fun. Blessings, everybody. Take care and I'll see you next time.